Well, hello, Wesley and Methodist family. It's great uh, to be with you. And on this occasion, when we are launching uh, some freshly minted papers from our Theology and Public Engagement Workgroup, I'm here with the Reverend Frank Ritchie, who is the convener of that workgroup and has been with his team, his faithful and trusty team, uh, working on resourcing us for this upcoming election cycle. And so today, Frank's going to be introducing some work that we've been uh, doing that National Council has recently approved in the uh, areas of euthanasia, cannabis reform, and uh, how we as uh, Wesleyan Methodists might approach this coming election. Uh, so Frank, we'd love it if you could uh, give us a bit of an overview of what we're releasing today. Thanks, Brett. One of our great hopes for everybody in our churches around the country is that we would be well informed when we come to the election. So to that end, the Theology and Public Engagement Group has put together a paper on the End of Life Choice Act referendum and one on the Cannabis Legalization and Control referendum and a note on how we approach elections. Our aim is not to convince anybody as to exactly how they should vote, but to make sure that our people are well informed. So both the two main papers on the referendums go into various ways that they can be understood, uh, our theological position on some of the issues that are present, and some of the complexity and some of the tensions as well. So that hopefully, when you get to the booth, you've had a chance to think it through well and know why you're ticking the box that, that it is that you're choosing to tick. Yeah, thanks, Frank. And our hope is that you as, as individuals, um, that churches together, uh, have the opportunity to be resourced to journey with this material, to have great discussions, uh, and to reflect uh, really deeply, and, and from a from a biblical um, and even theological perspective, uh, on uh, why we think uh, what we think. And uh, so this is a, a great opportunity to really exercise uh, your civic uh, responsibility and opportunity, uh, but also to uh, participate in a really meaningful way and what it means to live as kingdom people. Uh, as people who are re just really committed uh, to our society, our community, and uh, wanting to be a part of it being a place where, where, where human flourishing, where, where people can really thrive uh, in their humanity. So that's our goal today. Well, Frank, uh, I guess uh, we, better, we better launch this in a, in a kind of a formal way. Uh, would, you, would you like to launch these papers on behalf of the, the Theology and uh, Public Engagement Group? <laughs> yeah, so let's consider them launched. I'm sure there's some links available to you. So click on those, have a read, distribute them to other people that you know as well. So here they are just for you. Thanks, Frank. Let's, uh, let's pray as we do this and uh, as we continue to really ask God to lead us and guide us and uh, be a part of uh, our whole life, uh, not just what we do on a Sunday. Let's pray. Uh, Father God, uh, we give you thanks and praise for your word to us, uh, for your word as recorded in the scriptures and for the word Jesus who uh, dwelt among us. And God, we pray that uh, these resources that have been crafted and prayed over and uh, reflected on uh, by uh, some of our, our friends and colleagues in the Wesley Methodist Church, that God, they would be resources for us, that they would be uh, life-giving to us. As we, as we ask in a, in a deeper way, what does it mean for us to live as Wesley Methodists in the 21st century, uh, caring, committed uh, um, citizens of our nation uh, and people that want the best uh, for uh, humanity in this part of the world? So God, uh, would you, through your spirit of truth, uh, continue this uh, role of revealing to us uh, how it is that we might participate uh, in a meaningful and deep way. We ask it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you, Frank. And uh, thank you, everyone, for, uh, for listening in. And as Frank said, take the opportunity to uh, click on the links and, uh, and uh, feel free to use this uh, in, in your own home, with family, with friends, uh, in small groups, in churches. Uh, our, our hope is that it would be really enriching to you. Uh, so God bless to everyone. Thanks for listening.